get hit in the head by a brick, and wake up in post-apocalyptic Russia, because today I have a new game for you to try out. If you like similar games as me, which include resource management, survival, simulation, strategy, RPGs, trading, or crafting, then you're in the right place. My goal for this playlist is to quickly introduce you to the games that I play which fall under these categories, so that you might find new games that are worthwhile to try out and enjoy. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to see similar vi overview videos about other games that you might enjoy playing as well. So with all that being said, let's get into it. Simply put, Day R Survival is a resource management, apocalypse survival, and exploration game that's available on iOS and Android that has over 2,500 towns and cities to scavenge in a post-apocalyptic map that encompasses the entire USSR. Your character wakes up in a northwestern town, and his memory has pretty big chunks missing from it. As you explore the wastelands, memories come back to him, and there's new quests for you to figure out. There are hundreds of useful items that you can find in abandoned towns, such as coal, scrap, lead, saltpeter, flint, bricks, and many more, which you can use to craft into things you need for survival, such as torches, water filters, a variety of ammunition, some structures, or many different medicines. These items are very important to manage because if you don't have the items you need, you can fall victim to disease, radiation, hunger, or even bandits. The attention to detail that the developers have adds quite a bit of depth to the game. For example, you can get experience which levels you up, and you can use a perk system where you can pick many different perks that incrementally help you to survive. There are many different weapons ranging from melee to rifles to grenades to even rocket launchers that each have different stats when you battle animals or bandits or even the bosses during seasonal events. This makes for a very personal experience where you feel responsible for the choices you make, the risks you take, and the consequences that you face. If you're someone who enjoys being immersed in a storyline, there is a main storyline you can pursue with a handful of additional side quests. If you're someone who likes to trade, the online mode allows you to trade the materials you gathered for items that other players have, or there's also helpful NPCs scattered around the massive map that you can trade with, repair weapons and vehicles, and also accept quests at. I've played this game pretty frequently over the past five years, and I've seen many changes to the game, some for the better and some for the worse. The great thing about this game is that the development team has recently expanded and that there are pretty frequent updates, usually one bigger update every handful of months, which is then followed by many smaller updates to balance things out. There is also an active community to this game, so make sure to check out the Discord so you can get your questions answered and meet some pretty crazy people who may have been exposed to a little bit too much radiation. The game also has its flaws. In my opinion, once you beat the game or reach a level where survival isn't a struggle anymore, there isn't much left to do. The player-led economy used to keep many late game players interested in the game, however, the recent .700 update has brought this trading economy to a halt compared to what it used to be. Whether this will be for the good or for the bad, in the future only time will tell. As I've had many hundreds of hours into this game, I'm pretty excited to see where this game goes in the future. Now, I'll put a link down below in the description for you to get the game if you think you'll enjoy playing it. I'll also put a link to my Day R playlist if you want some tips and tricks on how to succeed quickly in the game. Remember to subscribe to the channel if you want to see similar videos because unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. I'll see you guys in the next one.